Founded in 2001, our organization was first known as the Institute for Inclusive Work Environments. Frustrated by the inability of the for-profit world to foster diversity, our founder, Dr. Frida K. Poor Klein, aimed to tackle the problem from a different vantage point. Recognizing the importance of educational preparation for access to good jobs, the focus area was expanded to incorporate education, thus prompting the name change to Level Playing Field Institute. LPFI's mission is to eliminate barriers faced by unrepresented people of color in science, technology, engineering, and math, and foster their untapped talent for the investment of our nation. According to a 2012 NSF study, only 9% of the entire science and engineering workforce is comprised of African Americans and Latinos. The problem LPFI seeks to solve is the lack of low-income minority students prepared to complete a college degree in STEM. The current objectives of the LPFI are to improve access and opportunity on a national scale for underrepresented students of color to succeed in STEM. This is accomplished by operating middle and high school STEM programs and conducting research and evaluation studies in order to expand the knowledge base on successful programs, interventions, curriculum, and pedagogy. LPFI needs to create and implement a sustainable funding strategy and continue to develop key partnerships with schools, mission-aligned nonprofits, corporations, and universities in order to expand networks of support for underrepresented students of color pursuing STEM degrees and careers. Key leverage points that make LPFI worthy of investment are our experienced, committed, and passionate leaders at all levels of the organization, our demonstrated success in operating summer math and science honors academies for nine years at UC Berkeley and successfully expanding it to Stanford in 2011 and UCLA and USC in 2012. Another key leverage point is our proven results. 88% of our alumni are enrolled full-time in four universities and 80% of our alum who have declared a major declare a STEM major. In addition, 83% of our 2012 alumni intend to major in STEM in college, and 100% were accepted to four-year universities. There are four essential elements that make LPFI effective. Investing in a team empowered in their respective areas of responsibilities and committed to LPFI's mission and vision. Implementing a culturally relevant project-based curriculum that integrates technology and addresses the academic, social, and structural barriers faced by students of color. Embracing research and evaluation data as a means to not only strengthen our STEM programs, but other programs in the STEM education community. And understanding the importance of establishing key strategic partnerships, such as the ones we have with universities, corporations, ag tech companies, foundations, and other nonprofits. LPFI measures success qualitatively and quantitatively in academic achievement, attitudes and aspirations, college preparation, and alumni outcomes using a comprehensive longitudinal evaluation tool. In terms of academic achievement, SMASH scholars demonstrate a statistically significant increase in computer science knowledge and aspirations, in addition to significantly increasing their technology skills. As it relates to attitudes and aspirations, 85% of our scholars believe SMASH encourages them to become leaders and challenge issues in their community. Regarding college preparation, our scholars show a 20% increase in their preparedness for co completing college applications. Another important measure are our alumni outcomes. 88% of our alum are enrolled full-time in a four-year university, compared with 45% of all 18 to 24-year-olds. 80% of our alum who have declared a major declare a STEM major. By comparison, only 23% of all college freshmen declare STEM majors. Because LPFI's programs are focused on high achieving, low income students, the common misperception is that we are creaming by preparing students who don't really need help. The reality is that a majority of first-generation low-income students attend schools with limited access to rigorous coursework like AP courses and science labs. As a result, 
they aren't being exposed to the level of preparation required to not only get accepted to college, but persist and graduate with a STEM degree. Some of LPFI's major accomplishments are being awarded the 2012 STEM Innovation Award by the Silicon Valley Education Foundation, having three research papers accepted to the 2013 American Education Research Association Conference, being one of 30 organizations across 18 countries to receive the Google Rise Grant, receiving acceptance to the Change the Equation STEM Works database, presenting on out-of-school STEM programs at the Tech Inclusion Roundtable at the White House in 2012, and then the following year co-hosting the second White House Tech Inclusion Summit along with Todd Park, White House Chief Technology Officer. A couple of LPFI's challenges are establishing new SMASH academies while maintaining integrity, quality, and program effectiveness, and having limited capacity to meet the student demand for our programs. We have only been able to serve about 17% of our 1,500 qualified applicants over the past three years. With additional resources, LPFI would strategically invest and partner with mission-aligned organizations to expand our impact nationally for the purpose of providing more low-income, underrepresented students of color an opportunity to make their dreams a reality. Some of the gaps LPFI could fill include increasing our capacity to serve more underrepresented middle and high school students by leveraging technology, strategic partners, and online platforms where appropriate, expanding our team to focus on K-12 STEM education policy, and developing new revenue income opportunities that leverage technology, our curriculum, program development, and execution expertise for the purpose of creating new funding streams to finance our strategy for national impact. 